Alright, this is Dick Bird. Uh, uh, this is another uh, relatively short, relatively short match compared to some of the stuff I've been posting here lately. But hopefully that means it'll actually post instead of crashing halfway through. Anyway, anyway, I like this match because um, it demonstrates how the Paladin can be useful. The Paladin is a vehicle that a lot of people consider useless. I've always considered it relatively useless. But on this map at least, and on some other maps too, I've been trying to find out. I've been working on finding uses for the Paladin. I think a lot of people use it incorrectly, but on this map I think it's very useful. And this match here kind of demonstrates that this fellow here, he's got himself a Paladin, but uh, he doesn't have his shield up. And really, if you're in a Paladin, you should have that shield up all the time. He's not using it all there. He's not using it at all there. Big mistake. He'll go down. You can go down quick. The thing is pr pretty much defenseless without it. Really slow rate of fire. Fair amount of damage if it does hit you, but uh, pretty hard to hit anything with it. Anyway, match started off badly. We lost our prime there almost immediately. And uh, started off having to uh, oh head off the enemy before they could come in and start hit hitting our core too much, which they've actually already done Attack to some extent. I've got the ore. At this point, it becomes a drive to get our prime back. And we do surprisingly well. We've got a couple of manas here, take down their tank. A couple of people on foot. Another paladin. More people on foot. Got to stop them before they get to the top of that hill because they get to the top of that hill, there's a position there where they can hit your core directly. So. But now we got our prime back, so crisis averted for the moment. And here, this is what you do with the paladin on this map. I had, a, I got into a couple of arguments during this match with some of the other players. Who, you know, a lot of people, you know, you get on here and they spawn and they see a vehicle they see a big vehicle and they're like well i don't see anything else around and i don't really like a paladin but i'm going to jump on the first thing i see and drive away with it and you re and i really don't like that that's not what you should do with this vehicle not on this map you need to get it up against your your prime here and just hold it there you keep your shield up anything gets behind the heat anything gets behind the shield you hit fire It'll disintegrate any body that gets behind it, and one or two shots would kill pretty much any vehicle. The only thing you get, only thing you got to worry about here is somebody getting in here with a nuke. And if somebody slips behind you with the orb, it's possible they could cap that that node even with you sitting right on top of it. But if you, oh, this is Dick Bird. Uh, uh, this is another uh, relatively short, relatively short match compared to some of the stuff I've been posting here lately, but hopefully that means it'll actually post instead of crashing halfway through. Anyway, anyway, I like this match because um, it demonstrates how the Paladin can be useful. The Paladin is a vehicle that a lot of people consider useless. I've always considered it relatively useless. But on this map at least, and on some other maps too, I've been trying to find out. I've been working on finding uses for the Paladin. I think a lot of people use it incorrectly, but on this map I think it's very useful. And this match here kind of demonstrates that this fellow here, he's got himself a Paladin, but uh, he doesn't have his shield up. And really, if you're in a Paladin, you should have that shield up all the time. He's not using it all there. Not using it at all there. Big mistake. He'll go down. You can go down quick. The thing is, pr pretty much defenseless without it. Really slow rate of fire. Fair amount of damage if it does hit you, but uh, pretty hard to hit anything with it. Anyway, match started off badly. We lost our prime there almost immediately. And uh, started off having to. Uh, 
oh, head off the enemy before they could come in and start hit, hitting our core too much, which they've actually already done Attack to some extent. I've got the ore. At this point, it becomes a drive to get our prime oh, back. And we do surprisingly well. We've got a couple of manas here, take down their tanks. A couple of people on foot. Another paladin. More people on foot. Gotta stop them before they get to the top of that hill because if they get to the top of that hill, there's a position there where they can hit your core directly. So. But now we got our prime back, so. Crisis averted for the moment. And here, this is what you do with the paladin on this map. I had a, I got into a couple of arguments during this match with some of the other players who, you know, a lot of people, you know, you get on here and they spawn and they see a vehicle, they see a big vehicle and they're like, well, I don't see anything else around and I don't really like a paladin, but I'm gonna jump in the first thing I see and drive away with it. And you re and I really don't like that. That's not what you should do with this vehicle, not on this map. You need to get it up against your your prime here and just hold it there. You keep your shield up. Anything gets behind the heat, anything gets behind the shield, you hit fire. It'll disintegrate any body that gets behind it, and one or two shots will kill pretty much any vehicle. The only thing you get, only thing you got to worry about here is somebody getting in here with a nuke. And if somebody slips behind you with the orb, it's possible they can cap that that node even with you sitting right on top of it. But if you see them before they actually cap, you can hit fire, blast them immediately. You know forestall that eventuality which is a big you know it's a big offensive thing on this map this is what the if the enemy knows what they're doing they'll just yep there, there's an orb right there and uh, their prime went down just before he got there but even if it hadn't he wouldn't have got that now at this point I could try to drive over toward the enemy prime but we're not gonna hold it you can see it's coming back up red again there's no way I'd get there before it came back up and, if I got halfway there and it came back up, the first thing that would happen is that half a red would, would swarm up over that hill and finish me off. So I'm going to stay right here. I have the orb. Um, this is the kind of thing I like to do, you know. I mean, well, some people like to rush forward and just get into the fight right away, but uh, that's good. If if someone else has is doing what I'm doing, that's what I would do, but. Okay, now I'm going to try to make a rush over there, and this isn't going to work out too badly. I'm going to get there in time. We've still got their prime, and I'm going to try to do exactly the same thing over here that I was doing over there. So now, now we can hold their prime with the Paladin. And what I wanted to do, what I wanted someone to do, was to grab the Paladin that spawned over here and help me hold it. But they didn't do that. Somebody got into that Paladin and drove away with it. And it's probably dead by now already. You get in this Paladin and try to drive out offensively with it, and you're just going to die, because it's not a good offensive vehicle. It's a defensive vehicle. And, yeah, I shouldn't have dropped my shield there. I probably would have gotten killed anyway, because that tank only had to shoot it a couple more times, and that shield would be down. But If we'd have had two Paladins there, we might have had a better chance. But, you know, like I said, some people like to jump. People just like to jump in a big vehicle and just drive away with it. You know, every vehicle is an offensive vehicle to them. Here we've got something, somebody doing something crazy with a hellbender. He's sitting on that platform over there trying to hit us with shock balls. That's not going to work. I'm just waiting for that paladin to spawn again. Yes, I'm spawn capping the paladin. Yeah. How low is that? Here we are. I would have got it here, but I jumped from too high up. And... Oh, I did get it. Okay. So, once again, same business. Back to this. What else is going on? Well, the mine node. The mine node is a big deal. Uh, I think they might get another uh, 20 points off of this with the mine node here. They're down to 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yep. And that's going to take us down to what? 18 points or so. And then I think they'll get another, at least another five off this, just by uh, hitting the core directly or something. But as of right now, things are not looking good. I mean, they've got 80 points, we've got 18. We're doing pretty good. Um, actually, I mean, 
if I can hold this prime and if the rest of the team can take the other prime, we can do direct damage to their core, which would be a good thing. And right now we've got the mine node as well, so that's a good thing. I mean, we've got a shot at this. We will win. We will win this, but not by much. This is this is a pretty dramatic match. Now Red is trying to take back the mine, and I don't see anybody attacking the Red Prime. Not real happy about that. I'm not sure if the nuke is going to come in on this uh, on this session. Attack the mine node. Now Red has the uh, the mine again, but we've got Red's Prime again. I'm I'm putting out a message here. I'm asking for somebody to grab the Paladin on the other Prime and hold the uh, Prime with it. I probably should have run up there because it looks like we might hold it long enough to do that. Red Core is vulnerable. And here we've got somebody saying, "Rush." Red core is yeah, under well, attack. he's going to rush with that paladin and, and lose it in about five seconds. Red core is heavy and meanwhile, damage. Red's going to take their prime back. What's going to happen now? If they've got a tank or something in that rush, that's a good thing. Yeah, here once again. Here once again. Yeah. If there were, if there were, a, if there were one or more, if there were one or two more people here helping me hold this node, we would have held it long enough to do some actual damage. I mean, they did a lot of damage on the core, but they're not going to do any more. We could have ended this match right here, but I can't get out of this thing. And there's nobody here to build the node. Well, there is somebody there now, but he's not building the node. He's actually healing me, and this, yeah, I just lost that vehicle, and uh, that node's going to go down shortly thereafter. Where's the rest of the team? I guess they're holding the, uh, I guess they're holding the mine node. But on the whole, that's not such a bad thing. It's going to take Red a little bit of time to uh, come back here and try to hit our prime again, which I'm sure they will. I'm waiting for Red to rush over this way. Here comes a vehicle. I'll get that one. Get one more Avril on him. That should finish him off. There's that Paladin. I'm going to try to grab it again. The leader X here is going to grab it. What's he going to do? He's going to rush off to the other Prime. I'm going to ask him, could you please hold our Prime with that Paladin? In the meantime, the uh, other Prime has gone down, so I'm going to change my mind about that. I'm going to tell him, okay, go ahead then. They've got the prime, go forward with it. This is the time to do that. He's gonna say, oh, staying here would be a waste of my talents. Yeah, good for you, buddy. He's gonna lose that paladin in about five seconds. I think he got about halfway through the field. As near as I can tell, he made one kill with it. He's already gone. And Red has their prime back. So yeah, he should have stayed over here. But no, do they listen to me? No. I tell them what to do, and they don't even listen to me. How unfair is that? Well, damn it. Why are people so unreasonable? They should listen to me, and yet they do not. Yeah. It's a mystery. So anyway... Uh, at this point, if Red holds the mine node one more time, we're out of here. And yet they're also still driving forward, trying to take our prime back. If they all concentrated on holding the node, holding the holding the mine, they'd uh, they'd they'd wrap this up in about 50 seconds. Another player has. Uh, Stupidly grabbed the uh, paladin and driven out forward with it. And, uh, lost it almost immediately, leaving us with uh, pretty much no defense on our prime. On the other hand, I mean uh, they mostly wiped out all the enemy vehicles that were coming in here, so uh, came out to came out to a bit of a draw. But if Red came in here with a with an orb or a nuke or something, um, they would have had our prime right there. 
I managed to get to the pallet in that time, but uh, there was too much stuff coming at me. I didn't have a chance to get set up. So yeah, okay. Thanks to all these people who will not listen to me, even though I'm right. Attack the prime node. We've now lost our prime again. I throw another message out there, you know, pleading with my teammates, use the paladin to hold the prime. We've got our prime back again for the moment. I'm gonna use this Manta to kill this incoming again because once again, whoever's driving the Paladins over there have no, don't have enough sense to use the shield on the thing and without the shield, that thing is basically, is basically a big sitting duck. Okay, so I'm gonna get in it once again. Uh, I'm gonna get set up here. And we'll get, Get, now we've got a decent defense going on our prime. We can concentrate on, uh, well, somebody needs to take that mine down because otherwise we're going to lose this match in about 24 seconds. Because if Red holds that mine to, to, to zero, that's 20 points off of our core and we've only got 18 left. Yeah, okay, so we got, yeah, we got the mine note, so we're good. So now we can take the enemy prime, and, they're, and, now we're, and now it's being attacked. So there's some good coordination going on there. Attack the enemy prime node. We got 33, 37, 30 seconds to go on the mine. If we can hold that, we can put some, we can, we can, we can whittle them down pretty serious, and it wouldn't take much after that for us to win this. But it's coming down to the wire. It's getting Attack very close. Ah, oh, Red's taking the mine node again. But we've got their prime. I was gonna try to drive forward, but the enemy prime went down again almost immediately. So I'm gonna back right back up here. I would never make it over there. I'd get about halfway there and they'd all swarm all over me and that would be the end of that. And then our, and then our prime would be defenseless. So instead I'm sticking right here. They're attacking once again. We've got the mine node once again, so. One more attempt. We've got about five minutes left on this. I mean, it's not gonna last that long. This is too, you know, something's gonna give before that happens. Red's taking mine again and they've got their prime. I have the ore. Attack the mine node. So at this point, you know, I don't know if we're gonna win or not. We could win if we get our act together. Our orbs closing in on the mine. And we've got the mine out again. I think we might hold it to completion this time. I've got the orb. Red's coming in, gonna try to take our prime again. I've got the orb. Maybe they're dropping actual people on us here. I just killed the uh, Haxers there. I think, I think, I guess that's how you pronounce it. You can see me pressing fire to blast anybody behind me. There's a berserk power up on that uh, on the little shelf up there. Uh, not too many people seem to take the time to go over there and get it. I'm kind of resting the shield at this point. Yeah, that mine's counting down really good now. They're holding the orb over there to hold it. We, I think we're gonna we're gonna hold it to completion th this time and, and take them down to six points. Yep, that's it. That'll take Red down to six. And now the mine, now their uh, mine node's getting hit. At this point, there's gonna be a nuke come in. There it is. That's the one thing you're gonna worry about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell out Prime! Because if they take our Prime now, they could finish this. Which is exactly what they're gonna try to do. They're gonna try to take our Prime down because there's nothing defending it now. Uh, the entire team is apparently sitting on the mine node. They're banking on us holding that mine node long enough to uh, another 24 seconds, but this is a race. Seriously, we're gonna lose this race. That's my worry. I'm gonna yell prime again. And I'm gonna jump in this bender and just try to hold back red enough so that uh, for another five seconds, that's all I gotta do. And uh, 
But notice, even after the countdown's over, they can still win it. All they got to do, they're, they're right here. This, they can hit our core from here, just about. So those last few shots I get in, I, you know, I kind of feel responsible for winning this. Yeah. Anyway, good match. Have a good evening.